do something like this and then mess with the waves here while I fit my coat. All right, so we got this. What we did was we put this on top of here. And reason why is because I like to figure out, well, what is the sizing of the typography that is being used? So if I do now playing and I change this to white and I also, I happen to have this typography, monument extended. I'm gonna go and grab the icons that I need specifically to kind of create what we're trying to go for here. So we're gonna go into our icon for design plugin and we're gonna just gonna type in arrow. And we have a whole bunch of arrows to choose from. I'm gonna pick this one, which is super simple. I'm gonna make sure I change it to white. And this is why using this plugin is way better than downloading a PNG, right? Boom. We're gonna take this. One thing that I would like to have happen as you guys see that the, the ends here are a little bit sharp, but we'll, fi we'll fix that in a bit. Second thing, we're gonna go a little bit faster. Now we're gonna hit R, our rectangle tool. We're just gonna drag this out. We want to drag in some of our guides here. So we kind of have barriers for ourselves. I'm gonna turn the padding up to maybe like five. Turn off the border. I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this. Come in here and create our three little circle A's. One, two, three. And I just alted and dragged. Really, you can hit Control R, which is the repeat grid, and you can just drag these out. One, two, three, ta-da! We are basically gonna animate the video cords here, but we're not gonna do that just yet. We're just getting all of our elements into place. I think we're just gonna use, we're gonna use this. I don't, I don't know why, but uh, it seems like an interesting enough photo. Yeah, mask, boom, I'm gonna pull this to the center, bow. All right, one thing that I wanna do is I wanna pop in a rectangle that just has a little bit of an overlay, and I'm gonna take the color here. I'm gonna click this eyedropper. I'm gonna try to grab like a, dark brown from inside the photo. I'm gonna push this down, boom. All right, so I'm gonna grab another color here. I'm gonna see if I can grab like this super pink. Linear gradient. I wonder if I switch this. For some reason, I always like diagonal stuff. So we're gonna go diagonal with it, just to start off opacity down just a little bit. Shape, paste, all right, boom. We got our border here. There we go. Put it here, I'm gonna drop that down. We're gonna down the size of that though. Two is good. Okay, we have this bottom portion. We're gonna see where it starts. So we're gonna bring this back. I want it darker on the, the edges here. Go back here, I want it a little bit more zero opacity there. I think I might drag this up a little bit just so we have like some centralization. We're gonna make our buttons. Hold this out, turn the opacity down, pull this out. I'm gonna make this pink. We're gonna make that glow. So to make that glow, we're just gonna click on shadow, pink, and we're, instead of negative three, we're gonna bring it right about here. Just a little blur, just like this. What I am going to do though, is I'm gonna duplicate this line here, turn off the shadow, and I'm going to make this pink, just like that. And what I can do, so for example, like how it's really heavy over here with that blur, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the, the line below pink as well, but I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drag this here, turn on the shadow, and you guys see like <laughs> why it's, it's so good to use uh, components because imagine me having to change every single one of these. Like that would be such a pain in the butt. We're gonna do dark up top and light on the bottom. Now what I could do also is I can come in here, copy paste, and you see how there's like a nice little edge now because I've duplicated. It, basically if I click into this, I basically just made another uh, circle. So I flipped the circle like this, then I flipped it down so that we get this nice little edge here. I don't know if it's scamorphism, we gonna try. We are, we are attempting, I don't know what I just did. Okay, that's what I was looking to have happen.
But if we really wanted to, I can add a little gradient thing here to make it look like they're pressed. So basically what I did is I just flipped. Um, that looks better, that looks good. This is just like an emission of light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off this border. I'm gonna go to the new gradient. I'm gonna get our pink and our, our brown or this. And I'm just gonna switch these up. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drop this opacity all the way down and left bracket. And we just want a little bit of that, that light emission, just like right there. I can grab uh, this line tool, just like this, and I'm just gonna drag it from one side. And very simply, this is what it does. I'm gonna go to prototype again. I'm gonna bring this all the way around because I want it to be a loop. Timing, we'll do 0.6. I just wanna show you guys what this looks like for right now. And of course we can go back and forth. Like the song is not gonna be done in like a second. I'm also gonna make sure that this is on top. And how I'm bringing stuff to the top is control shift and then the right bracket. If we have our background here, we can actually scale it and move it a little bit. I think we're just gonna scale it. And I also wanna play with the timing a little bit, so I'm gonna go back to prototype. I wanna mess with one second. Yeah, we don't want it to breathe like that. We have our numbers changing, we have the time going, we have the different, you have the music levels changing in and out. And that's, to be honest, on a basic level, that's kind of how you would do, or at least in, how long did we do this? We did this in an hour. I'm gonna pull all this stuff down really quick. Actually, I'm gonna pull them pretty far down. And the reason I'm doing that is, if you guys remember, Adobe XD is, the way that it works, it's all about before and after when it comes to animation. So the further you actually pull something, the longer it will take to actually animate in place. But this part, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with. Let's start off from the beginning and let's diagnose one thing at a time. So first thing, I did not like how far these guys animated. I'm gonna bring them up where they should be. And the way that this came in was really weird. So I'm gonna just scale that here. All right, I'm a little bit, I'm a lot more happy with that. We're actually really honestly about to wrap, wrap up. So this is our final rendition of our music application for this week. Please, if you have not already, join us in the Game Changers. It is absolutely excellent. But now I have to ask Grossbot, please escort me home. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. So with that said, guys, on the next one, I'll see you. So you want to be one of the hottest creative designers in the world. You want to build your talent, your skills through hard work, and more importantly, surround yourself with a team of individuals who are striving towards greatness with you. And yet you sit there and you ask yourself internally, Brandon, does a place like this exist? And my answer to you would be, of course, mother that's exactly what we are doing in our Discord. We are the game changer. We are a group of designers, artists, creatives that want to take our skill sets, talents, and dreams to the next level. We come together to give feedback on each other's work, give resources, and laugh, a lot of it, <laughs> and help push each other to be our best selves. If you're interested in becoming the next best you and quite possibly <coughs> yourself while chatting with many friends, join your new design family today. See you there.